what it is and what's up hey true family hey if you're new to the channel make sure that you go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell to all so you know when i update and post a new video um make sure that you're hitting the like button y'all it really does help out the channel trying to get me back into the algorithm and thanks to everybody who's new to the true family i see y'all you know getting that subscriber count up so it is deeply appreciated y'all this is a long overdue requested uh get ready with me basically all right you guys let's get right into this um get ready with me video this is a long overdue video like i said someone asked me to do a get ready with me that's my um hydration i forgot the name of it it's by Lori L. I love it love it love it uh you guys the first thing to, to make up is taking care of your skin Take care of your skin. Uh, do do scrubs, you know. Uh, they take care of your skin at night and in the morning so that you have a good foundation for that starting makeup. Now, what I just sprayed on was that Revlon Color Stay Lock. It's 24 hour setting mist. Uh, it says, um, yeah, 24 hours. I got it off of Amazon. I'm sure you can get it from your local beauty supply store. This is Shine Killer by NYX. I haven't used it yet, you guys. You will see it shortly. Um, I'm really, I really have oily skin, so I'm trying to find those products that help my makeup long lasting without oiliness. This is about nine o'clock in the morning, you guys, and I can honestly tell you around 7 p.m. last night, my makeup was still popping, no oily skin bow i mean i was it was amazing now what i just did was put on some el maquillage foundation it's the color 100 um i woke up like this you guys i just put it on like lotion i smear it don't forget that neck because your face needs to match your neck don't play with it don't come in here looking like white face dark neck or dark neck white face whatever don't do it so I'm just going in and touching it up, make sure I blend it out into that hairline, you guys, with my um, sponge. Get that set off in there. Um, like I said, I really do have oily skin, so I'm really, I was trying to find that good combination. Uh, I don't know if I said it already. We have uh, a couple of events this week in an all-white affair and a pool party. So I'm trying to find products that keep me from looking oily throughout the night at the all white affair now also let me know you guys if you think the look that i did in this video is perfect for an all white affair i have a white evening gown um pretty it's gorgeous you guys y'all know where i got it from but it is gorgeous you're gonna see me spraying this setting spray a couple of times because i'm trying to get that the, the best outcome that i can with it so i might Put on some stuff and set, set, set. Y'all, this is that Shine Killer. I mean, it's actually a black color. It really tripped me out. But I like the way that it feels on. It's like a really smooth, velvety uh, feeling. So I put that on. Then I came back in with some Airspawn Translucent Powder. I'm going to set the hell out of my face. I really am. I'm trying to see, you know, how the day ends. And like I said, it turned out great. We gonna go in with these brows, y'all. Y'all gonna see me throughout the entire video plucking because I I am a mother freaking plucker. Um, until I feel satisfied with the look. Uh, a lot of people ask me how did I learn how to do my eyebrows, you guys? YouTube, 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 YouTube. They have everything on YouTube that you can learn. So I learned how to do my eyebrows on YouTube. I also for a time period used the stencils. You can get them off of Amazon, the eyebrow stencils. That was a good starter for me until I learned how to freehand them. So now I know how to free uh freehand my brows. Um I'm very particular about them. You guys I'm using the elf brown eyebrow eyebrow color pencil um, for my brows and like I said I'm very particular you guys I don't want to look shocked I don't want to look like I'm surprised I, I just want a perfect clean sharp brow uh, so you're gonna see me clean those up with some concealer you guys I use the pro conceal by LA girl I know a lot of people that do I mix two colors to get the perfect color for my pale tail <laughs> 
I use the, um, what are they, you guys? I use the light ivory and the porcelain mixed together, and that's a good combination for me. You know, so play around with those colors, and that's just to sharpen up that brow. And, I, I, and like I said, I'm very particular about my eyebrows. Your eyebrows are what make your face. Alright y'all, so once I get these eyebrows done and cleaned up, I'm coming in with my Naked Urban Decay Palette Heat. Uh, I only use one color in this palette for this video, and it's the uh, color Low Blow, you guys. It's like a brown, not even a brown, it's like a taupe kind of color. I use it to set the foundation for my eyeshadow on my lids. I don't know why, it's just something that I started doing and I like the outcome, so that's what I do for me, y'all. So yeah, I'm gonna go in and get that color on both lids. And it seemed like oldest, but I always thought like the coldest. Uh, I had a little chip on my shoulder. Uh, then I got older and older, uh, and I had to flick it off. I feel like a boss, like I'm Ricky Ross, but I got no Maybacks. They do anything for the clout. It's thanks when they say that. Uh, if I take your girl, don't be in my DM, asking for your bay back. We say if a lot of things like money, but hoes gonna say that. And homie, they straight back. Yeah, I know you, but we ain't friends. Quit asking me questions. Go ahead and blend out that color on my lid a little bit. Now, this is the, <laughs> this is where we wanted to get to, you guys. The 35D Desert Bouquet Morphe Palette. Not a new palette, you guys. This palette, I think, came out last year. Uh, let me go ahead and give props to a YouTuber called Angie Lozano. That's where I got the uh, tutorial from. Um, I will link her information in the description box so you guys can go check her out. You guys, I would have never chosen these colors for myself, so that's why it's always good to step out the box, you know, find you a good tutorial for the palette that you have and try something new. I am working on trying to find that look for the all-white party. You guys, I don't know if I said this again because I recorded this 20 times. If you like this look and you think it'll look good with my white with a white evening gown, let me know. Or let me know if you think I should go for more like a, a, a golden look. Like, um, yeah, a nice little golden look. Let me know. So, you guys, um, I went in with the color Yes I Canyon. It's like an orange-like color. Now, this is not a color that I would have normally chosen for myself. But, again, that's why I chose a tutorial and um stepped out the box and tried some new colors all right you guys let me go ahead and put this bib on because if i get something on this white shirt i'm gonna be pissed all right that's my bib don't say nothing about it y'all so i'm plucking i told y'all i'm a i'm a mother i'm a mf or plucker <laughs> so uh yeah let me clean that up it was looking a little wild, you guys. All right, so eat. Okay, that's enough. So I'm going. I'm still. I'm still f messing with that color. Yellow. Yes, I canyon. Um, next color we're gonna go in with, you guys. Oh, I guess I need to do the other lid. Y'all, my dog just farted and she stank. I just thought I should put that out there because I'm so mad at her right now. So mad. Next color you we're using, you guys, is called Mohave Heat. It is like a dark purple, pink kind of color. Is um, color? It uh, it wouldn't have been a color that I would have normally chosen. So, like I said, I am I, I, I the outcome of the colors that she used was great. I, I really like these colors. So, step out the box, you guys, and, and look for you a good tutorial. 
and just make sure that you're blending blending these colors in what she did with that mohave he just came in and she patted it in that crease like she was very um what, what's the word I'm looking for y'all this fibro fog is horrible like it really messes with my memory she was very generous with that color that mohave heat in that crease line and she, she was not a circular circular motion you guys she was patting it in that crease Next color we're coming in with is a rich clay, you guys. Look at that. That's like a velvety purple rich color. Really nice. That's going to go also in your, um, the crease. Um, and she did the same thing. She kind of patted it off in there. Again, she was kind of generous with this color. It's like a really rich kind of purple velvet kind of color yeah i really like this I, I love this palette and blend 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 you guys all right in that corner crease you guys um she came in with the color hottest ever um oh i'm still blending y'all that that purple color out y'all hear my dogs it's just Ugh. too much too much so right there you guys that's that um she used the color hottest ever i'm surprised i thought i showed y'all with the palette but it's called hottest ever and she's at the end part of the crease with it i'm just trying to blend that out and she does come back in um a little more with that yes i canyon color because it got lost with those rich colors so yeah i put a little bit more of that here you guys i'm coming in with a cut crease i'm using that concealer that i had to go ahead and paint out those corners um for my cut crease what the cut crease does is it make that it makes your eye pop you guys and it holds on to that color that you set there um it, it, it lasts the long lasting so let's go ahead and cut these creases, you guys. I, I really, I like a cut crease. I think I do it almost every day. You can, um, once you go in with that color, you guys, go ahead and, and spray your brush also with that, with your setting spray. Um, she's gonna, look at that, that lighting, you guys. I don't know if I made it better or worse. The sun is moving, so. Yeah, it's messing with my color, with, with my lighting. I'm kind of a perfectionist with that cut crease, too. I gotta, it, it's gotta be right. My lids are so small, you guys, that, yeah, I, I'm working to try to make it look a little, the illusion of having a, a big eye, you know, a big lid. So, you guys, we're coming in with that. It's called, um, plant mom now plant mom is like a, a a glittery peachy orangey kind of color mostly in, in like a little golden esque maybe rose goldish kind of color um i sprayed my brush and i went ahead and set uh the color on that concealer and, and i mean it made it really pop you guys it turned out great What is that? That's that, um, that's the hottest ever. I don't know why it took so long to get. Oh, so I did it after the cut crease. So the hottest. All right, you guys. So I'm just going and finishing up my cleaning up the cut, cut crease and putting that, um, hottest mom color in there a little bit more. I did put in the creases, you guys, that hottest ever color. It's like a brownish kind of color. Um, you just see me blending out a little more before I go in with my liquid liner pencil for my lid. And that's by NYX. 
And you guys, I really like a thin line. Um, I can get carried away sometimes and it'll become thicker than what I... <laughs> what I intended but I think I got a nice little um a nice little line going on here and I really try to stay close to my the the um uh, base of my lid I really need like a black liner and a black liquid liner to make my eyes pop and look more open. Otherwise, I just look tired. So that's why I do the um, wing out look when I do my makeup. All right, you guys, so now we're going in with those magnetic lashes, Alfia magnetic eyelashes. I got those off of Amazon. I'll try to look for the information. Um, really easy, really easy. Now, although I did put on my liquid liner, I still, um, the magnetic black could be used as just a liner, but I prefer to just use it as like a glue base. Um, and I try to stay really close to the bottom of that lid because... You can take that magnetic strip and try to put it on and it'll be sitting up really high. So you want to put it as close to the bottom of your lid as you can. It's really easy to put them on, y'all. It took me less than two minutes when normally a regular lash can take me forever. Okay, you guys, so I went back into that palette. Now, she didn't do this. It's just something I like to do to make my eye pop. I went in with the color um, Villa Vibes. It's like a maybe a highlighter color. So, I'm just going in cleaning up those brows with that color. Um, I just like the outcome, the way that it makes it pop a little bit more. Um, I'm going to make it as clean as possible and pull that color down and blend it out. I'm gonna go right in with that concealer. That is just the um, darker of the two colors. That's that uh, ivory, what is it y'all? Light ivory. I'm gonna use that underneath my lids and up in that forehead uh, to blend that out and make it look a little bit lighter. Cause y'all, I have some bags under my eyes. It's from, shit, it's ever since I was born. I've had, we all have them, so. In this house, so yeah, I went ahead and did that, and I set it with my translucent powder again, working on that oiliness of the skin. Y'all, don't don't worry about that hair because that hair gonna be popping this weekend. Okay, so I'm going in with my bronzer. It's like a goldy, bronzy kind of color, and I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little bit of color y'all this is how I give myself like a little bit of a tan look a little bit of color in my face is I take that bronzer and I blend it in really well y'all these dogs over here getting on my nerves making all kind of stupid noises they 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 didn't start this until I started recording y'all so I'm spraying out my brush trying to set that under eye making sure it stays in place. Now, I will be blending everything out, so don't be paying attention to that blotchiness, y'all. Get it blended out. This is just like the finishing touches, you know, to make the look complete. 
You go, girl. That's a black waterproof liner, you guys, that I got off of uh, Amazon the other day. It is called... It's by Kimmel Rimmel. Shut your face. It's by Rimmel, and it's the color black. It's called um, Exaggerate. Hmm. I love it. I'm going in with some gel for those eyebrows to make those hairs lay and stay. Lay and stay where I need them to stay. Look at that. She pretty. Oh, she pretty, girl. <laughs> I'm jamming, too. Don't, don't come for me. Take that uh, mascara, you guys. I don't know about y'all, but I hate clumpy mascara. So, I usually take out a wet paper towel. Get some of that, that thickness off of it. And spray it with my setting spray. And go in for that bottom, uh, those bottom lashes to make them look a little bit fuller. I'm going in with a concealer brush right now and cleaning up that mascara. And that's just a little bit of highlighter, you guys. That's actually like the... Uh, uh, iridescent kind of eyeshadow I got from the beauty supply store for like a dollar. I use it for highlighter. Get the, them cheekbones popping, y'all. Since I lost that 40 pounds, my, my cheekbones is really like popping, popping. I like it. I like it a lot. That palette is the bomb. I don't care what nobody say. So I'm going to take a little bit of that color again, that Villa that I used on my eyebrow, that Villa Vibes. And I'm going to put it in the corner of my eyes. If you can see, it gives it a little pop, make, makes it look a little bit more woke, if you know what I mean. It's just the little finishing touches that brings the whole look together, I think. Set again. We're going to go ahead and set again. And you guys... Oh, that's some lipstick I got off of Amazon, you guys. It's just a nude lipstick. I never used it. <laughs> I bought it like a year ago. But I like it. I like it a lot. Clean it up. Get that cleaned up. And here is my finishing look, you guys. Let me know what you think. All white affair or should I go for more of a goldy kind of look? Or do you think I should play with some pinks? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe, and share.